let's go get involved in this midwinter blight after that beautiful, beautiful lullaby. So, we got to go see our boy, Midwinter Square. The Midwinter Square is the anchor of the Midwinter Blight event progression, event quests, and rewards. Let's talk to our boy. What's happening? Peaks is always dangerous. Okay. But now in these deep winter months, he's talking to us. Monsters of an entirely different sort stalk us. Okay. During this time, this midwinter blight, we aim to inspire hope that endures in the darkness. I'm no fighter, but a hero of. Yo, David Cole, with you. the sponsorship on YouTube. If Thank you, you so much, man. I appreciate you, brother. Bring back proof. We can Thank you so much. In this square, both as a ward. And the promise of fortitude. All right. Okay, so we got some monsters here. Some Midwinter Blight Celebrate. So let's check out the event shop. Um, Midwinter Blight. The Red Cloaked Horror is the boss. And the mis and its mischievous Blight Fiends are relentlessly terrorizing the Fractured Peaks. Conquer Midwinter Blight monsters and activities to collect Blighted Fragments, Lost Heirlooms, and Red Cloaked Trophy materials. Exchange event materials for midwinter proofs and at the collection table in Kmart to upgrade the midwinter square and unlock a series of rewards. Use the midwinter proofs to purchase limited time event cosmetics or rewards from Gillian. This is awesome, man. So here's all the back pieces that we talked about and highlighted in uh, our previous video and actually all the extra ones. So it looks like it costs 20, 30, 50 for the back pieces. And, of course, we got our brand new Shard of Dawn, uh, which is a brand new aspect, which is really, really strong. Midwinter Spoils. It contains valuable rewards such as armor, gen fragments, and potential dose of Gillian's Brew, which is a very, very strong elixir. Increased max life and lucky hit chance by 15% and EXP by 15 more percent as opposed to the standard 5%. This thing is amazing and I cannot wait to get it and just stack these things like crazy because you are going to be able to keep these after the event is over. So we need to farm these as much as possible. Then we got the Midwinter Purse, a cache containing a bounty of gold as a testament to your triumph over the Midwinter Blight. Ooh, I wonder how much gold this is. So guys, we are going to get in here and test all of this stuff out. We got our Bouncy Bouncy Fireball. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's continue the storyline. Collection table, Midwinter Proof Exchange. So we got Midwinter Proof Exchange, Exchange Blighted Fragments for Midwinter Proof, as well as Lost Heirlooms and then the Red Cloaks. And then you guys can see down here, let me flip my screen. You guys can see down here the uh, current Midwinter Tribute tier as we continue to level up. Okay, there is four different levels. Wait, okay. Nice, all right. So we got the table. Okay, gather and exchange midwinter uh, materials for midwinter proof. So we don't have any, so let's go ahead and get popping. Let's go to our favorite spot over here. And let's just get it rolling, guys. Let's go do some midwinter proofing. So I want to see what's dropping here. Blighted fragments, there goes seven. And then here goes the, the frost, the frigid husks, right, that you can get. And then they drop lost heirlooms, which is pretty cool. All right, we got an event that we're joining. Oh, I wouldn't worry about me, friend. Oh, now I get to protect everybody. Oh, get up off my boy, son. Yo, demon, what's up, dude? I am kind of digging this. So I wonder how many Blighted Fragments and stuff that we're going to need. We got some Lost Heirlooms here. This is a good little event. We are Bouncy Bouncy Fireball. Look at that. We got some teammates to come help us here. Yeah, back up. There go some weak, weak elixirs that we don't need. Just why FYI, the blighted fragments only drop from the event from specific enemies. Interesting. All right. So it looks like we got some more blighted fragments. There we go. Dude, these things are just like all over the place, huh? 
So is there a way to see? Okay, so there's not a way to see how many. Oh, here it is. Bloody fragments and lost heirlooms. So let's go do this. Let's go back to Kovishad. And let's go turn in after our very first event. All right, let's take a look. So we need the Minwinder proof. We got 31. It's going to cost 30. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Right? We're in, we need 300 of that. And we need one Red Cloak trophy. And we advance 20 EXP. I know you guys can't see that right there. We advance 20 EXP on our Midwinter tribute. So now we can go in. So then we can go to the shop, right? So now we can talk to him, go to the event shop. I have... I have one. It doesn't tell me exactly how many I have. Go to back to my materials. So I got one lost heirloom. Okay. So I'd be able to get Gillian's brew as well as a midwinter purse. Uh, let's see how much the midwinter purse is. So let's, let's do the midwinter purse and see how much uh, gold that we are actually going to get. We're at 179 million. So let's see how much gold we get. What? One, two, three, four, five. So it's like 700,000 maybe. Yeah, we got like 750,000 gold. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, our first red cloak core. Dude, he's ginormous, bro. We just smoked that fool, man. Give us three legendaries. Red Cloak Trophy. Collect the Red Cloak Trophy after defeating the Horror. Exchange them for Midwinter Proofs. Oh my god, dude. That was awesome. I didn't even realize I was doing an event for him. Alright, that's super cool. Alright, so let's go back. Let's go to the event shop. So we have 1,200 Blight Fragments, 80 Lost Heirlooms, and one Red Cloak. So, what I, oh, what I need to do is go to the Exchanger. So we pretty much don't need to keep any of these, right? We all need to exchange them. But this is one for one. This is 30 for one. And then this is 300 per. So we got four. Nice. Midwinter square upgraded to tier one. Okay. Okay. We got our very first upgrade. Something's happening. Okay, let's open up the event shop. So I have... Does it show... Where does it show how many of those I have? Um, it doesn't show me how many I have. Next to red shards it does. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Midwinter proofs. So we have six. Wow. And it's going to take 50 to get these. Okay. 10 for the aspect. Eight for the. So what's in the midwinter spoiler, I wonder? Midwinter spoils. A cash containing a collection of valuable rewards such as armor, gem fragments, and potential dose. So you could potentially get one of these. I do really like that the midwinter purse is like 800 to a million gold. Like, that's nice. If you bought six of those, that's like six million gold. Like, that's kind of bonkers. Okay. So, yeah, guys. That is the Midwinter Blight. And we've already beat the boss. We've showcased everything. How to trade. How to upgrade the, the season. We got the world boss in 59 minutes, which is cool. And there's three tiers to upgrading how your little square looks. Which I think is really, really cool and festive. And then getting these. We'll have some breakdowns of how... How long this is going to take. But I do really like this event. I think it's super cool. So get out there. Download the brand new update. Get into the Midwinter Blight. And enjoy some festive, festive monster slaying. And yeah, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.